Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, October 20th of 2016. Uh, back in, I think it was 2010, I had a pacemaker put in up here. Um, whoops, I should have brought the device over. The old one. Well, you'll see it here in a second. I had a pacemaker put in. Uh, I made a uh, short video when the ambulance, I passed out at a uh, uh, Walgreens uh, store. And the ambulance was called. And <clears throat> when they loaded me on the ambulance, I managed to make a little video and took a couple pictures. And it was after I got out of the hospital, after having the pacemaker put in, I uh, uploaded to YouTube the video. I'll, if I can find it, I'll put the link below. And I also then showed my incision here where the pacemaker was put in. Um, and then I think I made a, several videos of me sending the data Every three months, I send the data from my heart to eventually get to the doctor's office. I think it goes to Medtronic. I think actually it goes to them, and then they, maybe it's shared instantaneously with the office, the doctor's office, I'm not sure. But at the time, uh, let me sh well, well, let me show you this little video here, which is made uh, two years later. Well, I'm going to crank that. This is the uh, device for sending the data. But I'm going to kill the sound on this. Uh, if I can find where it is here to kill it. I'll just crank it down. Whoops, well, you could, you could hear it dialing. Sounds like a 300 baud motor down. So that's uh, the device that I got, and at the time when I got it, I said, well, they should use digital. Shouldn't be using something like that. Now, the problem with that that I had and that other people have had is um, I couldn't use it over my voice over IP connection. It needed a real phone line or whatever. So... Uh, the first time I think I used the, I live in an apartment complex, I went and used uh, their, uh, the office and the phone. And then I, uh, after that I used, every three months I'd use uh, my ex-wife and son lived next door to me and I uh, would go and use their phone line. Well, a few days ago I got a letter from Medtronics saying that they were going to, that I needed to get a new device from them and to go to their website and fill out the form, I log in. And so I went to their site, uh, which was here. I'll put the link below, but you'll be, if you have a Medtronic, there are different companies, I think, that make pacemakers, so you may not have a, you might have already been using a, some type of a digital device, I don't know, for, but um, I'll put the links below. And I went there, and they asked me which of, I think, three options I wanted. One option was, did I have a Android or Apple cell phone or Android uh, tablet and I have an Android so I picked that and then the options that I had was um, I think I might have been able to take the other option but the option that I had was that 
I could get, whoops, no, I want to get this here, that I could get uh, this device for free and that they would send it to me for free. Now, if you don't have an Android or an Apple device, I think there was two other options. One of them was you, you get some type of a device that will connect with a cell phone connection. You don't have to have a cell phone. The device itself connects with a cell phone. You don't have to sign up with a cell phone provider or whatever. I'm not sure exactly how it works, whether they have one company that's nationwide or whether the device senses that you know, AT&T or Sprint or whoever it is, and that they have a contract with them. But th the device then uh, makes that connection for you. Uh, you can't use the device or the thing you have to make phone calls or anything like that. It just does this. Uh, gets the data and uh, so... Uh, And it costs you, I think, about $11 a month. Oh, here it is, right on the screen. Okay. Okay, this is the device that... This is not the device I have. This is... Uh, so it, uh, you need a power outlet for it. You need uh, 2G or 3G cellular... Okay, that's the thing, yeah. If you have a cell phone... Okay, this is, yeah, the one, so. You pay ten ninety nine for 48 months. After 48 months for that rod. But now again, this, if you have an Android or Apple, you get this device, and you don't have to pay anything. Anyway, I'll put the link to Medtronic, where you can sign up. Uh, I'll put the link to... Something else that I said that I was going to do. Um, so, um, this comes with three batteries. I had, this slides off to put the batteries in it. I had, and I still have, I got it off. Man, you're going to have to, you may have to call 911 and request, uh, I'm, I'm joking, but uh, I can't, you know. I had to pry it a little bit. Uh, I got, I finally got this thing off, and I finally got the three AA batteries in there. And I hope this, hope these batteries stay charged up a long time because getting the, at least on this one, getting it open is a son of a bitch. Uh, it comes with this instruction, very simple instruction guide. Uh, that shows you what you have to putting the batteries. Okay, well, it shows you what you have, what the, what you need. This device, your cell phone or a tablet. Then it shows you just easily slipping the batteries in there. No trouble at all. Then it shows uh, with your cell phone or your tablet going to mycarelinksmart.com. And you go there, and then you uh, press the button, and you download the app. And it will know whether you're using an Apple or an Android device, and you'll get the correct device. It will go on your tablet or your cell phone. And uh, then you take some steps, and they, they show them here. But there's also an excellent video here. Help. Uh, education. You click on their site. How do I set up my monitor? Uh, set up instructions. Uh, brochure. Patient manual. Uh, set up guide. Uh, I think this is the video here.
Now this course comes with audio. I'm not going to run the entire the entire thing. I'll uh, let you look at this attractive young lady here. And when they start up a little bit, I'll, I'll just show it a little bit here. Very briefly. There you go. So you can see it's basically the same thing that I have. Uh, Here is, oh, look at that, just with fingertips, she or he, I wasn't paying any attention, just popped those, that thing opened up and popped those batteries in there so quick. Okay. Whoops, wrong camera. Okay, let us stop this. You can see that it's recorded there that I made this first connection. After this, I, every three months, well, it's going to be sooner than three months because uh, I've got my doctor has scheduled one coming up here in a month or two, so I'll be doing it then. But uh, I had no trouble at all pairing it with uh, using Bluetooth to my uh, cell phone. No problem at all. So I... Let's see what else is in the bottom of this box. Patient reader, something in Spanish, I think, or French. I think that's Spanish. Oh, it does show you install install the batteries. No, it just says if the battery compartment is not completely closed. Doesn't say anything about uh, needing a sledgehammer to get the thing open. Okay. Uh, they mentioned, by the way, that uh, this thing turns itself off. There's a button to turn it on when you need to to do it, but uh, there's no button. It just times out after a little bit. So um, that's it, and I'll try to round up some links, and I'll try to put them below before you. But if you have a Medtronic pacemaker in you, I'm sure that you may have already received the letter. Uh, and uh, if you haven't, when you log in, it's going to ask you, well, uh, my bill falls across there. When you log in, or when you go there, um, it's going to ask you for your name, and then it's going to ask for the number on your card, the card that you have that says you have a pacemaker in you and has an ID number, the card you have to show at the airport to uh, uh, be scanned differently than other people and what have you. So uh, be prepared. Thank you very much for watching.